So now we uh, want to access this token from our logic app, but as you'll notice, we just have one access policy for me, but not for a logic app or anyone else. So they are not able to access uh, the key vault. So let's fix that. And a perfect way to do that is by using um, what's it called? Oh, let's go to logic app again. Uh, the identity the managed identity yes that's what was it what was called so what if i turn this on my logic app itself will become an identity within my tenant which means that i can grant access to resources to that particular and uh, identity um, and so I can also grant it access to my Azure key vaults, just like it's a user or a service account. So let's turn it on, press save, which means that we get an get alpha signals in the Azure Active Directory. So currently it's not uh, able yet to use a user uh, managed identity so that we can specify the identity ourselves, but it will create a identity for us. All right, so it created this identity. I get an object ID to easy find, easily find it. Now let's switch back to our key vault and let's create a new policy to be able to read keys from this key vault. So, I generally only want one thing to be done. So first let's select the principal and I'm not sure if I can select it by name. Yeah. So here it is already. This is the managed identity that we just created by turning on that flag. Next, I want it to just be able to do a get. It should know which key to get and that's it. It should only be able to get keys, not uh, secrets, not keys, not certificates. Uh, An authorized application. Ensure authorize this application to perform the specified permissions on the use of groups behalf. And it's not required this time. Cool. So now we have this second access policy. Do not forget to save, otherwise it will not be applied. That's not the first time I will step into that trap. Um, so it's safe now. So now we can go to our Logic App Designer and well, first let's try to call this URL so that we can see that we can actually execute it. And therefore we'll go to Comic URL here, and in Postman, we're gonna post to it. It will fill, same problem as we had <coughs> with our flow because the token is invalid, of course. So here we can see that it filled, but it was executed. And it's failing on the same step because of the field token. Cool. Well, we can execute it, so that means that we can test it as well. That's great. Let's edit and add an action to get our token from the key vault. So we have an Azure key vault connector. We want to get a secret, probably the one that I want. And um, in this case, I can sign in. So I can sign in using my using my uh, username and password. But that will uh, mean that it will try to access the key vault as myself. So. Uh, so for various reasons, not 
um, what I would like to do instead I would like to connect with the service principle mm, no I'll... what am I missing here sign in I will need to I do not want to use my account. I want to use my managed identity. So what was what step am I missing now? Uh, logic app key vault managed identity. I believe there's one step I'm just missing. Yes, so. Yeah, it looks a little bit different than it did in mine. Let's. Workflow settings. This step is what I've done. Want to automate it? HTTP, but I want to call default. And let's follow this. Perhaps not possible yet. To do from yeah, it looks like uh, we are not able to use the default REST API itself. Um, and the key fault connector itself, we need to use the REST API. Hmm. So this will take us... So instead of the... Key fault connector, we're gonna take the HTTP.
going to use the HTTP. We're going to use the managed identity. And so loading, we need to have the URL defaults. Maybe we can just get the URL to the secret. There's a secret identifier. Gets. Boom. So we need to set this. Like so. this works. I don't know. Let's try it. So saved it. Now just call it. Here we have a new field run. Authorized. Let's just redo its identical to it does here. Use API. try it from here by just doing a resubmit which will just try same call again and we'll try Let's just check that we have the X policy here. So that's in place. Let's give it all for now. See if that's the issue. And then we should be able to do exactly what we did just get all the secrets.
you're not uh, I just copied it from here but it should not have this training slash can we So probably it will work. Just want to have get enables. From your secrets. Just want to get this particular secrets. I'm not interested in always having to get the latest version, I just want this one. Does this work too? So it now got my value. Oh, there's my secret. 